there. Welcome to Coffee Time with Jay and Jay. I'm back. I have been very, very sick. Um, you can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit. It's been a rough couple of weeks, um, but I believe I'm on the mend now, and thank you all for your prayers. I know some of you knew that I wasn't feeling well due to Facebook, so I appreciate all the prayers, and look forward to getting back into a normal routine and schedule again. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the word. Thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord. I pray that you would be with each and every one of us, Father, as we open your word and we read your word, Lord. Allow for us to hide it in our heart, Father God, that we wouldn't sin against you, Lord, but that we would bring you pleasure, Lord, and others' pleasure as well, Father. We love you, Jesus, and thank you for your sacrifice. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you just permeate this time that we have together. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the reading today is from John chapter 8. It's verse 14. Jesus answered, even if I testify on, on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, for I know where I came from and where I'm going. I think that's important. Do we today know where we came from and do we know where we're going? I know um, I was five years old when my parents... Um, discovered how much the Lord loved them and gave their life over to him and for the service of his kingdom. And before they came to that realization, they lived a life that was um, a little crazy. Um, uh, they, on the weekends, it was not about serving others and um, as they do today, but it was about um, being social and parties and things like that, and I know that's hard to believe about my parents, but it's true, um, and I witnessed a little bit of it, not a whole lot, but enough that I have very strong memories about that time, and I'm so grateful for what God did in their lives and continues to do in their lives. And so I do know where I came from. I do know what was before me. And I, as a parent um, of kids myself, they have been so blessed, and I'm so blessed to have them, and I want them to discover where they came from and to know where they're going. And so it's important that each and every one of us take a step back once in a while and remember where we came from before we encountered the love of the Lord and how much transformation has happened in our lives and continues to happen every day. I'm so grateful for that and I know where I'm going so I just keep every day putting one foot in front of the other trusting in what he has for me for that day and knowing that I do have testimonies and I am a testimony of his grace and his mercy and am so grateful that where I am going is an eternity of peace an eternity of being confident in what he has for me up there. And I've so enjoyed what he has had for me down here and will continue to enjoy that as well. So you guys, don't be afraid to share with your kids where you came from. It's important that they know. It's important that they know the struggles of your forefathers and the victories of your forefathers as well so that they can use that kind of as a barometer for where they're headed to. 
because they look and they watch and they observe and they take in everything. Even when they're older kids, I still watch and observe what my parents do today. I watch that they work at a ball field every Saturday morning, um, selling things for uh, little league baseball players. So, and they engage with people and they enjoy that time. And I'm grateful that they still serve and pray that I can still serve at their age as well and not be intimidated by that. Thank you guys for this time. Really appreciate it. God bless. You guys have a great day. Look forward to meeting back with you tomorrow.